Hi there, everyone. Welcome to the California Academy of Sciences, Science at Home. My name is Nick. I'm a presenter here at the Academy, and I'm so excited to share with you today a very special puppet show called Coral Reef Adventure. In this puppet show, you'll get to meet animals from the coral reef, a really exciting ocean habitat. Does anyone here have a favorite sea animal? My favorite sea animal might be the moray eel. Well, I wonder who we're going to meet today. I hope that you all enjoy our Coral Reef Adventure puppet show. See you soon. Whew. Hi, everyone. Does anyone know what kind of animal I am? <laughs> That's right, I'm an octopus. What kind of animal are you? Humans? Wait, you only have two arms? That's so strange. I have eight arms. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Whew, that was fun. Oh, I live in the coral reef and, and I can change colors to hide in and camouflage around the coral. I'll, I'll try it here. Uh, can you see me? Oh, you must be some good observers out there. Well, today is my very first day of school. Do any of you go to school? I'm really excited to learn, but I'm also a little scared. I've never been to school before and I haven't met a lot of animals. Hey, I know. Will you swim with me to my first day of school? Oh, great. I'm glad I've made some new friends. I'm looking forward to meeting my teacher, Whale. <laughs> I've never seen a whale before. <gasps> Did any of you see that? Oh, that startled me. <gasps> well, hello there. Oh, <laughs> hi, I'm an uh, octopus. I'm on my way to school. Wow, you are long, and you have no legs. Are you a snake? I've never met a snake. I am not a snake. I am a fish. Do you know what kind of fish I am? <laughs> That's right. I am an eel. An eel? <laughs> Meeting new friends can be scary sometimes, so I'm going to try and be brave. Eel? What are you hiding? Why were you hiding? You scared me. The coral reef has many places to hide, and animals need places to hide so they don't get eaten by predators. I lie in wait for food to come by my hole, and then I snatch it. Hee <laughs> oh, You don't ever eat octopus, do you? Uh, not that I'm an octopus. Uh, see, uh, I only have a... Uh, uh, seven arms here. <laughs> I was just wondering for a friend. As a matter of fact, I do eat octopus. I even eat other eels. I'm a carnivore, so that means I eat animals. Yikes. Um, are you going to eat me? Oh, please say no. Please say no. Please say no. <laughs> no, I just ate a large meal of fish crabs and shrimp. Now I'm all full, Whew. and I can find plenty of food to eat in the coral reef because many different animals live here. I'm not going to eat you. Whew. <laughs> and that's funny. Those are the same things that I like to eat. I guess that means I'm a carnivore too. Indeed, octopus, indeed. <laughs> I'm glad I was brave and we met. I need to go swim to school before I'm late, though. Bye-bye, eel. Swim along, octopus. Swim along. Oh, what an interesting animal, eel. I wonder who else we'll meet on our way to school today. Help! 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 Wait, who's yelling help? Help! Help! Oh, what was that? Oh my gosh, who are you and what happened to you? Thank goodness you are here! I am Sea Turtle and I've gotten into such a terrible mess! Oh, what is that thing that your fin is tangled in? 
Oh, well, my flipper is tangled in plastic. Humans make it. I saw this in the ocean and I thought it was my favorite meal of jellyfish. I tried to take a big bite and now look at me, fooled by plastic. Woohoo! This is one of the reasons there are fewer and fewer sea turtles in the ocean right now. And almost all of us are an endangered species. Oh, how sad. I'm going to get you out of there. Don't worry. Will all of you out there help me free sea turtle? Oh, phew. Okay, on the count of three, we'll try and untangle sea turtle. Ready to count with me? Okay, one, two, and three. Whew, you're free. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, octopus. Oh, I love feeling my flipper. I hope this doesn't happen again. If we all use less plastic and recycle, we can help our oceans and animals like sea turtles stay healthy. Oh, that's a great idea. Oh, but well, I do need to be on my way. My teacher, Whale, is going to worry if I'm late on the first day of school. Oh, I wish I could thank you more for saving me. Oh, I know. I was going to see my friend Stingray to hunt for treasure right up the reef. Wait, did you say hunt for treasure? Oh, that's amazing. I'm all tired after being tangled, so I'm going to go rest. But if you see Stingray, tell them the secret password, Blubber, and they'll help you find treasure. Thank you for your help. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, sea turtle. Whoa, treasure. Maybe there is time before. <sighs> Wait a minute. I don't even know what a Stingray looks like. <laughs> I was really excited about hunting for treasure, too. Hmm, maybe you all can help. We'll swim to school together, and if you see a stingray, clap your hands to let me know. Do you remember the secret password that will tell stingray? Blubber, that's right. All right, let's start swimming now. Oh, uh, <laughs> hi there. <laughs> oh, um, Blubber. Uh, bye now. <laughs> oh, no luck. I guess that wasn't a stingray. Oh, do you hear that? Oh, blubber. Again? Oh, uh, here it goes. Blubber. Hey. Oh, you're calling Blubber, buddy. So rude, so rude. I can't believe it. Yep, yep, yep. No, not again. I guess I should just head to school and forget the treasure. Wait, why are you clapping? Is that a stingray up there? Okay, let's try one last time. Let's say the secret word together on the count of three. Ready? One, two... Three, blubber! Oh, I see you know the secret word. Are you looking for treasure? I can help. Oh, hi, Stingray. I'm so glad I found you. Ah, I'm, how do you find that treasure? Well, with my secret abilities, I'm a very special type of fish. I have six senses. What senses do you all have out there in the audience? That's right, five senses. But I have a sixth sense, electro-reception! Oh, that sounds so cool. Is that a treasure-finding sense? It all depends on what you think treasure is. Electrical sensors near my mouth Help me find clams, oysters, and mussels hiding under the sand. They're my favorite food. Aw, oh, I thought we'd find a sunken ship or a secret sea chest or something valuable, not just hiding animals. Ah, oh, but have you heard of a pearl, my squishy friend? No, I haven't. Has anyone in the audience heard of a pearl before? Oh! Oysters filter and clean our water. Sometimes a piece of sand gets stuck inside their shell and over time transforms into a beautiful pearl. Pearls are rare and special treasures. 
just like the reef. My senses will help me find the shiniest, glossiest, most beautiful pearl for you. Oh, wow, that is such a cool treasure. So you can find one? Sure, watch, I'll use my sensors. Beep, beep, beep. Ha-ha! <laughs> Found it! Here you go. Oh, wow! Thank you, Stingray! Having lots of different and special animals living in the ocean supports the health of our coral reef. Ho oh, ho! My Stingray senses are tingling, though. Gotta swim, my friends. See you later. Beep, beep! Beep, 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 beep! Bye, Stingray! Oh, uh, hey, Oyster. Hello? Hello? Uh, hey, you, what are you doing? Go away. Uh, hi, could I borrow your pearl to share with my schoolmates? Everyone is always after my pearl. You cannot have it. Okay, think, Octopus, think. I'm very smart after all. I have nine brains. Uh, how many brains do humans have again? One? <laughs> what a strange world we live in. Oysters don't even have a brain at all. Wait, that gives me an idea. Hey, uh, Oyster, if I ask you a question and you get it right, I'll go away. But if you get it wrong, could I please borrow your pearl? I'll bring it back after school. Uh, seems fair to me. What's your question? How do you make an octopus laugh? Uh, mm, eh, I wouldn't know. Nothing's funny to me. With ten tickles. <laughs> that was not funny, but I will keep my end of the deal. Here's the pearl. Whew. Wow, thank you, Oyster. I can't wait to show all my new friends at school. They will be amazed. Oh, I guess I'll make a new pearl in my oyster bed. I can't remember what happened to my other one. And oysters can't move, so I guess I'll be right here. Oh, uh, hello, who are you? <laughs> You're funny. Bye-bye, Oyster. Oh, all right. I recognize that staghorn coral, which means that I'm almost to school. Oh, I can't wait to tell everyone about what I've seen and show them my special pearl. Shining. Be very still, everyone. I see a shark. Don't move. Hey, 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 what's going on? You heading to school? Gary, a shark, a shark, a hide and blend, hide and blend, blend and hide. Oh, gee. Sharks get a bad image sometimes, Lil Octo, but don't be scared. I've been known to eat an octopus or two, I'll admit, but it's like not my favorite. Oh, but I do love seals. I love to eat seals. Oh, Octo, now I'm getting hungry. Uh, <laughs> I uh, better be on my way to school. Just as I was saying, people just don't get sharks. Uh, like, uh, how would you feel if everyone felt like you were <laughs> scary? <laughs> oh, well, uh, there, there. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. It's just with those sharp teeth and uh, strong jaws. <laughs> but I'm like so important. You see, in a coral reef, I'm at the top of the food chain, and I help keep the entire reef healthy by eating the weak or sick animals that I can catch. And in return, I help make the fish families healthy. Hey, I eat animals that I hunt for too. That makes me a predator just like you. Cool. <laughs> exactly. And plant eaters are important too. If they didn't eat things like algae and sea plants, the algae would grow over and hurt animals like coral. So every animal on the reef is important. Meat eaters and plant eaters equally. They all keep the ocean healthy. So you sharks really do help out. I guess we all need the coral reef to survive. Now I think you're ready for school, little Octo. Thanks for listening and for being my friend.
Oh, and one last thing for everybody out there. Why did the shark cross the Great Barrier Reef? <laughs> to get to the other tide. Later! <laughs> Good one, shark. Bye-bye. I am so late. My teacher is going to be so worried. I gotta go. One plus one is two. That's right. And two plus two equals four. I'm so sorry I'm late, teacher. Whoa, a whale. Octopus, I was worried. Why were you so late on your first day of school? Well, first the eel startled me and I thought I was going to get eaten, but then I found a sea turtle that needed help getting untangled from some plastic trash. Then I met the stingray that helped me find a pearl and an oyster and let me borrow the pearl, but then I ran into the shark and it was really sad because everyone thinks it's scary, but it's just misunderstood and a really important part of the healthy ocean. And I was so late and my word, octopus. You couldn't possibly have done all that on the way to school. But I did. I was brave and I made new friends. And they were with me the whole time. Do you see them out there? That's what happened, right friends? Yeah, see? Even I have this pearl to prove it. Whoa! I suppose it is true. It sounds like you had quite the adventure and learned a lot about the ocean along the way. Maybe you can share more with the class what you've learned. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks everyone for helping me get to school. I had so much fun swimming with you, friends. It's time for class now. Thanks again for your help. Give yourselves a big round of applause for helping. Bye-bye, everyone. Thanks everyone so much for joining us for our coral reef adventure. I hope that you had fun learning about all these different ocean animals that depend on coral reefs to stay healthy. And in fact, even as people who live on land, we can help keep coral reefs healthy too. If you remember that sea turtle that got tangled in plastic, if we use less plastic in our own lives and try to reuse things when we can, and if we do have to use plastic, we make sure to recycle it. We can help keep our world and our coral reefs a healthy place. I hope that you had fun and learned a lot today. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.